In this quiet pastoral setting in the St. Lawrence lowlands of rural Quebec, about 50 kilometers from Montreal, a battle raged in October 1813. 200 years later, it's the home of the Battle of the Chateau Gay National Historic Site, which marks the memory of this intense battle. The battle was fought by a combination of forces, including British military regulars, local volunteers, and Voltigeur, a largely French-Canadian company of intensively trained volunteers, who were led by Lieutenant Colonel Charles de Salaberry, a French-Canadian who was also a British Army officer. Salaberry and the Voltigeurs specialized in light infantry fighting, and on that day in particular, Charles de Salaberry made the local landscape a crucial part of his strategy. He used the Chateau Gay River to direct a path followed by the Americans. The sloping open field across which the Americans would have to advance with no cover from his forces musket fire, and cut down trees and sharpen the ends to create an abatis, an obstacle meant to slow the enemy. Today, the landscape looks much as it would have on the day of the Battle of the Chateau Gay. A 40-foot obelisk erected in 1895 marks the location of the battle. There's an interpretive center, a picnic area, and archaeological remains of the site's military history. Today's visitors can also use the local landscape, not to prepare for battle, but for exploring the site's interpretive trails.